What's really cool about using Pydantic is how it simplifies your code. It automatically deals with serialization and validation, cutting down the boilerplate code you need to manage. This frees up your time to focus on developing the core features of your app. What this means for you is that every data packet sent over your WebSocket is guaranteed to be exactly what you expect. When a client initiates a connection to your server through a WebSocket, the connect method in the manager class is triggered. This method accepts the WebSocket connection and creates a new connection object. Each connection object contains a unique client ID, which is automatically generated using UUID and the WebSocket connection instance. This connection is then stored in the dictionary with the manager, allowing the server to manage multiple active connections simultaneously. After successfully setting up the connection, the connect method prepares a response to send back to the client. This is done using the connection response payload model, which only includes the client ID. This model ensures that the client ID is always a valid UUID, thanks to Pydantic's validation. A base WebSocket event is then created, containing this payload along with the event type. This event model also captures the current timestamp using Pydantic's field, Default Factory. The base WebSocket event is a generic model designed to standardize the structure of messages sent over the WebSocket. It ensures that every message, regardless of the event type, contains a consistent format, with an event type, associated data, and a timestamp. This structured approach facilitates easier processing and handling of different types of events on the client side, as the client can always expect messages to follow this uniform structure.